victory lane was filled with many drivers throughout the season. Some were former champions. Some were multi-time winners. Some were first-time rookie winners. Ben Ebling would score his first ever championship. Coming up next, we'll take a look at the 2021 Super Cup Stock Car Series season. It's racing the way it used to be. And it's coming your way next. Hi everybody, welcome to Williams Ebling Enterprises here in Newton, North Carolina, home of the number 44 season champion, Ben Ebling. It was a long and tumultuous road for him from race number one to the finale to get this trophy here for a season championship. Of course, what is the Super Cup Series that he's a champion of? Well, if you've been watching on MAV TV the last few seasons, you should know these are fantastically competitive and affordable full-size stock cars, very similar to what you might see in, say, the NASCAR Xfinity Series or the Arkham Menard Series. In fact, so similar that NASCAR now recognizes the Super Cup Series as an approved division to get that stepping stone approval to go to ARCA to run some of those bigger races and on up through your career. Folks like Jason Kitzmiller now taking this path to advance their career through the Super Cup Series. But this year, they all had to beat Ben Ebling. It was Ebling who was a factor at every single event and ended up with this season championship. Now, how he got to that point? Well, let's take a look at how this season unfolded before we preview 2022 and the upcoming Super Cup Series year. Riding along with Kevin Cromer as we look to turn four and the trick shot race start. Green in the air, we're underway here at Dominion Raceway. And JJ Pack will get a nose out front down in turns one and two. Cromer sent it down in there. Cromer tried to make up time in a hurry. He and Butler side by side for just a moment. Now Bob Schacht is gonna move up. He's gonna challenge Ben Ebling. Ebling up the racetrack. He'll leave a car width and a lane open for Bob Schacht. Schacht is gonna get by. Ebling back to third. Cromer in fourth. And he also will drive to the inside of Ben Ebling's 44 car. Ebling said he was gonna be patient. See how the race played out. 60 laps is a short time to get it done. And Cromer sent it down in there. Four tires did not want to stick. He almost used up Ben Ebling down in turns one and two. Cromer trying to wrestle away that third position. Everybody chasing J.J. Pack and Bob Schacht. And they go across start finish and back to turns one and two. And Kitzmiller sees the opening with Ebling up to the high side. And Kitzmiller is going to battle with Ebling for that fourth and fifth position. Kitzmiller off a of turn four. He's going to take over fourth. Ebling back to fifth and Butler in that sixth position. The 75 car, Bob Schacht is closed in. He's within a car length as they go down the back straightaway. And he is looking to the inside, keeps the car all the way down on the bottom groove. Schacht looks to the inside as J.J. Pack leaves the door open half a car width through turns one and two, and Bob Schacht to the inside. He's going to capitalize. He'll take over the race lead. Schacht, your new leader, down in turn three, packed back to second. Cromer running third as they scream across start finish. Bob Schacht one more time around the four-tenths mile. Can he pick up his career win number seven in the Super Cup Series? He's out front, looks solidly like he is headed to victory lane. Bob Schacht out of turn number four. Checkers are in the air and he'll do the trick. Bob Schacht, your trick shot, penetrating lubricant yes. winner here tonight. Looking to the flag stand for a green flag. Green is in the air, we're back underway. The trick shot, penetrating lubricant, green flag. And this time Warren Butler on the inside holding court but it's Bob Schacht on the outside that has a nose out front. He'll lead him down to turn three. How is it going to work out out of turn four? Schacht gets the jump off the corner. Looks like he's going to lead off the corner. While Kevin Cromer trying to work his way up the racetrack this time. Goes up to the high side out of turn two. Has to wrestle it a little bit. Ben Ebling directly to his left side as the field works off. Turn number four for the second time. Bob Schacht out front. J.J. Packed up to second. Kevin Cromer's had his hands full all night long, saw a big wiggle early on, about 10 laps in out of Cromer's car. He's been fighting it the whole way, but done a valiant job. 
Running right now inside the top five in that fourth position. Restart out of turn four. Bob Shack to Bid Ebling side by side. Lead them back to green in a drag race. Down to turn one. JJ Pack tries to follow in the tire tracks of Bob Shack and possibly make a challenge there. JJ in the 61. Here is Cromer in that 77 car and alongside Cromer and trying to advance her way up is the 53 of Warren Butler. Top five battling it out here tonight at Dominion Raceway. Back to turn three, Shaq in control. And Bob Shaq, big wiggle out of turn four for Bob Shaq's in the 75 car. Door was left wide open. He'll drive to the inside. New leader down the back straightaway. Here is Ebling. He takes the checkered. Bob Shaq will finish second. I knew I was a little bit better on the long runs. I get looked like than he was. And so I was just trying to push him as hard as I could. Just push him, push him, push him. And waiting for one little mistake. And, and he slipped a little bit. And I was just right there to capitalize on it. So uh, really thankful for all these guys. And thankful for my wife. She couldn't be here tonight. My wife and kids really missing them. And uh, I got one for you, baby. I didn't get them both, but I got one at least. If he hadn't have made that mistake, what would you have done? What was your plan? I would have done everything I could. <laughs> I'd have used up a uh, back bumper. And it, but Bob's always raced good. He you and know, I've always raced good. But uh, if I could get to him, I'd have made it interesting for the last lap anyway. 44 of Ben Ebling, winner of round number two at Dominion Raceway. Oh, welcome back to the 2021 season in review for the Super Cup Stock Car Series. You know, we've seen a lot of great racing this year on MAV TV, but just what you've seen already and we've recapped, there was plenty more besides that. Don't go away. Things are heating up, and you know what? People might have to wrench on their car, see if they can catch some of these guys as good as they've been this season. Don't go away. We've got the recap of the season championship and the final night that led to Ben Ebling's title coming up. As they work through turns three and four, look to the flag stand and Green is in the air. Benny Gordon's going to get a jump out front. Nelson will drop into that second spot. Butler is third. On her outside is Ben Ebling, but here's Bob Shack. He's going to the inside of Brent Nelson. This is the battle for four, or fourth position as they work off at turn four. There's Kitzmiller lurking in the distance, but Shack is going to get by. And trouble up front. Trouble in front of Bob Shack. Both cars looks like Ebling and the nine car of Doug George will go around. We're under caution. Smooth exit off the corner. Checkers are in the air. And Benny Gordon is going to win here tonight at Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Well, he hasn't been here in a while, but Benny Gordon tonight, it looked like you never left this place. Congratulations. Yeah, that car was, uh, that car was pretty good. Uh, guys worked on it. After that heat race, I was a little worried about things. Um, these, guys were, these guys were fast and good group of racers here. He's truck heads to pit road and looking to the flag stand for a green flag. There's the green. We're underway here at Jennerstown for 75 laps of Super Cup stock car action. And on the break, Brent Nelson put the nose of the 80 car out front. And right now, Benny Gordon is also taking the battle to the, oh, and they get together out of turn four. Benny Gordon and the 97 of Kitzmiller get together. Oh, and they get together again in turn one. Around goes Benny Gordon. Back to caution on the restart. The choose rule, Ben Ebling went to the outside of row number one. Now Ebling challenging for the lead from outside the top five just prior to this caution. Ebling trying to race his way to the front to get by Brent Nelson. Ebling has a nose out front when they get to turn one. Nelson on the inside. He holds court and he will once again go out to the race lead. Ebling now trying to hold off. Bob Schacht and the 75 car. Down into turn three by himself. No challenge. Brent Nelson We'll see the trick shot, checkered flag in the air, and Brent Nelson is your winner here tonight at Jennerstown. It's a very jubilant. Brent Nelson lights up the tires down in turn one. An amazing story here as Brent Nelson holds on over a couple of late race restarts. He's gonna get a little water bath here as he gets up on the door frame. Getting congratulations from some of the officials here. Brent, did you think this was even possible 24 hours ago? You know, after last night, whenever we broke, uh, we thought we were going home. We thought we were done for the weekend. But you know, my team, we pulled together. 
Kitzmiller in the 97 looking for green as they work off a of turn four. He hits the loud pedal. We're back underway here at Motor Mile Speedway and Jason Kitzmiller leads him down to turns one and two. Riding along with Samantha Roball, she'll get into the back of Kevin Cromer. Cromer gets sideways, hits the side of the 15 of Brian Harrison, but everybody able to continue without a caution. To get it straightened back out, here is your star trucking white flag. One more time around for Jason Kitzmiller. Kitzmiller out front. It does not look like the 44 of Ebling is going to be able to mount any type of a challenge. Off of turn four, here is the 97 all construction machine. Two start finish for his first ever Super Cup win. Green's in the air and Kitzmiller will get the jump on Ebling as they work down to turn one. Ebling will drop into second, Shaq goes third. Kitzmiller by himself will win for a second time here at Motor Mile Speedway in Super Cup competition. Jason Kitzmiller, quick burnout. Jason, you won again. How does it feel, man? It's awesome. It's awesome. This has been a great night. I had a crappy day at work, but it doesn't get any better than this tonight. So it's awesome. Awesome. So Jason Kitzmiller climbs from the All Construction 97 car for the second time this evening, a winner here at Motor Mile Speedway. Congratulations from Joe. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the Super Cup Stock Car Series Season in Review. It's been a great season of racing up to this point, but it all came down to one single night at the Dominion Raceway. So Ben Ebling had a season championship waiting to be won, but he had to get through both races that evening. Not an easy task with the competition in the Super Cup Stock Car Series. Here's how it all unfolded on that fateful night in Dominion Raceway. Hello and welcome to Thornburg, Virginia, the Dominion Raceway, where the 2021 Super Cup Stock Car Series Championship will be decided today. A pair of twin 60 lappers, leaders off of turn four, looking to the flag stand. Green is in the air. We're underway with the first of twin 60s here tonight on this four tenths mile oval. On the break, Ebling jumps out to a quick lead. Shaq able to get by Brocker. Moving the 71 back to third. Hung to the outside though as Brent Nelson. Here is Hayden Brothers in the 27 car closing in on Brocker, trying to work his way into the top five as the field goes by the 15 of Jeff Thomas. Thomas keeps that car low on the racetrack as they go down the back straightaway once again. Bob Schacht and Ben Ebling want to decide the championship among themselves. Nelson in turns three and four. He's on the binders and he's going to turn it to pit road. Problems for the 80 car, Brent Nelson. But it is Ben Ebling that'll pick up win number eight here in the 2021 campaign for the Super Cup Stock Car Series. No burnout. He needs this set of tires in the best condition possible for race number two as he still has a championship to wrestle away from Bob Shack to finish third here this afternoon. Ben Ebling eight trips to victory lane how did you do it uh, this crew and these guys that help with this car is how we did it uh, the sponsors that get us here the car owner uh everything just it has to all come together and uh man it just i'm out of breath that was 60 hard laps and the water showers continue he's won ladies and gentlemen congratulations ben ebling trying to win his first ever championship bob shack looking to win his second Shaq will take a look to the inside and they're gonna make contact in turn three. Brocker will go around. Shaq will make contact as they come to a stop at the inside of turns three and four. So Kitzmiller has assumed the race lead. Semantics on the racetrack and looks like uh, the 75 and the 71 not happy with each other. Allie, what's up? There's been some tension on track between Jared Broker and the 71 and championship contender Bob Shat. The 71 looks to be going back behind the wall, and I think they're going to park it. Both the 71 of Jared Broker and the 75 of Bob Shat are actually going to be done for the night. Yeah, it looks like crew's still arguing down there on pit road, at least from a distance. But this is a sportsman series, a Super Cup stock car series, family friendly and really designed in a manner which makes it easy for competitors to compete and yet keep up with a business life and a family life as well. And 
It's not going to be tolerated by race officials for race director parking both the 71 and the 75 for this event. Green flag back in the air, and it is Kitzmiller and Edling now. A race leads the battle back to turns three and four. Edling sees the opportunity as Kitzmiller goes up the racetrack, opens up the door. Edling will drive down to the inside. Make a little contact as Edling drives by and takes over the race lead. Final lap coming up. Star trucking white flag has been shown to Ben Edling. Kitzmiller trying to mount a challenge, but the car drifts up in the middle of the corner. Looks like Ben Edling. One more set of turns to go. Unchallenged. Ben Edling. Car number 44 heads to start finish and will be the 2021 Super Cup Stock Car Series champion. The guy that went to victory lane the most is now the champion. My name is Ben Edling. I originally grew up in northern Ohio, a little town called LaGrange. We didn't even have a stoplight in town. Um, and how I got into racing, my dad, when I was real young, would always take me to the races at Mid-Ohio. Uh, we'd watch a lot of the IMSA races and IndyCar races back in the day. And um, after a few times of watching those races, I, I kind of, uh, I got tired of watching it and said, I can do this. And uh, so to, I had to make a letter to my dad to get him to, convince him that to let me buy a race car and we bought a little go-kart and we went road racing at uh, Fremont Raceway Park in Ohio. Uh, raced there for a couple of years and then decided I was going to move up to a street stock and do a street stock at Lorraine County Speedway and Mansfield Speedway in Ohio. And then uh, when I graduated high school decided I was going to move to North Carolina to pursue racing. Uh, came down here and did the Bobby Isaac Motorsports program at the college down here. Um, did that for a year. That's how I got to meet John Curley and Mark Davis and, and those guys. And there's still a lot of those relationships I have to this day. Did the motorsports program, did the Hooters Pro Cup back in the day with John driving that. Uh, when we got done with that, went to Hickory, started doing some truck racing at Hickory. Did that for several years. Piddled around with late models and limiteds for a few years. A uh, street stock car that uh, a good friend of mine owns. And, and then through Mike Potter and John Curley got introduced into the Super Cup. Leaders off of turn four. Bob Shack this time will get the advantage over Ben Ebling. Ebling continues to hold tough on the outside and out of turn two. Has to give it up. And Bob Shack, big wiggle out of turn four for Bob Shacks in the 75 car. Door was left wide open and Ben Ebling says, thank you, sir. Went into that knowing the 75 was going to be a tough competitor. And, and we knew he was going to be there. Got to learn real quick that there are a lot of other guys that are just as competitive as the 75. Jason, Brent Nelson, um, Kevin Cromer, some of those guys. But to go into that first race and to come away with a win in a second, we thought that was a great start to the season. As Ambling will go to victory lane, he takes the checker. Ben Ambling, winner of round number two, climbing out of the car. We basically set out to win races. If you do that, then the rest kind of works itself out. We had no ideas what to expect because this was going to be our first full season around the Super Cup. And years before that, we had just kind of hit and missed and run some of the Southern Division races. Our expectations were just to win races and, uh, you know, just approach each race and, and let the cards fall where they may at, at the end of the season. And, and we were very blessed last year. One more time around for Jason Kitzmiller. It does not look like the 44 of Ebling is going to be able to mount any type of a challenge. Pivotal point for us is we had the, I think it was the second motor mile race. Uh, the first race we had a, uh, uh, the brakes faded. And we had like, we were catching the 97 and on his back bumper and the brake pedal still started going to the floor. And we were able to nurse that one home, finish second. And then the second twin at Motor Mile that, that night, uh, we had a plug wire burn. And so we, but we, we came out of that weekend with two seconds. So to be able to have bad luck that, like that, two races in a row and still come out with two seconds was phenomenal. Bob Shack trying to challenge Ebling. Both cars have caught the 80 of Nelson. It's a three car battle up front and Ebling, whoa. He really had to put some right wheel into it down there in turns one and two as he and Bob Shack got together. I didn't start to think championship until the checkered flew at the last Dominion race. Um, I knew the 75 was gonna be tough every week. On her outside is Ben Ebling. They nearly made a little bit of contact as they work off the corner. Looks like Kitzmiller getting by as well, and Kitzmiller takes the race directly to Ebling. 
So a battle for third right on lap number one as they work across start finish. And I knew that Jason was going to be tough every week. And, I, and Brent, Brent was in there too. And on the break, Ed like had a nose out front when they got to turn one, but it is Nelson on the inside. He sets the left sides off onto the apron, de-wedges the car, frees it up, and he will continue to have a nose out front. I mean, Brent won four races. I knew those guys weren't going to give me anything. Um, and I don't expect them to. I want them to run me hard, just like I, I want to run them hard. Watching that second place battle, Ebling not giving up on the outside. We've seen this from Ben Ebling before. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't start setting in until the last Dominion race. Ben Ebling, the Hickory, North Carolina driver, picking up yet another win in the Super Cup Series in his quest for his first ever championship. So Ebling will stop and pick up the checkered flag for the eighth time. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ben, is climbing out of the car. Congratulations, buddy. Water flying everywhere. One more set of turns to go. Car number 44 will be the 2021 Super Cup Stock Car Series champion. Ben Ebling can now burn down those American Racer tires. I've enjoyed the Super Cup thing just because of the atmosphere. Uh, and it's not, it's more family oriented. It's more relaxing to me. And at this point in my career, uh, that's what I want. I want something that my kids can come to that we can all enjoy as a family uh, and still get that, that competitive adrenaline and stuff going. And, uh, I really enjoy being a part of it, um, and it's more old school to me than some of the late model series and stuff that are out there. You know, if you abuse these tires and if you don't take care of your equipment and stuff like that, you know, the car goes away. It's a bigger, heavier car. Um, you don't have that in some of the late models and whatnot. So uh, I've really enjoyed that about the series. A good time to jump in the Super Cup series. We Joe does a good job of uh, allowing and making room for any cars from the upper series is that maybe are not legal to run at that, that level anymore, they phased them out, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I'd say now is a great time because there's a lot of those cars out there. Um, there's still some of these Hooters cars from back in the day sitting around and they're just as good as the, the new stuff out there. Racing to me, when I get in that race car, that's the one place that I can forget about everything else. My mind gets solely focused on what I'm doing in that race car. Um, so that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most in 2022. Uh, obviously you want to win races, you want to go out there and you want to have fun. And I want my family to have fun and enjoy. I want my son to learn, I want my daughters to learn. I don't care which one. If one of them wants to get in there, I want to encourage that in whichever child that that is. But um, that, that's probably what I'm looking to, forward to the most is just the, that piece. And it's weird because you're in the middle of a race car going however many miles an hour and you've got cars on front, back, on the side, wheel to wheel, smoke flying off, who knows, whatever. But um, that's actually peace for me because it's, it's, there's a singular focus in your mind that, that's all you're worried about. It was an exciting season and many different drivers going to victory lane. We congratulate 2021 champion Ben Ebling and his entire crew. And congratulations to all the winners throughout the 21 campaign. We want to send our thanks to our sponsors, track owners, officials, and everyone behind the scenes that helped make this season possible. Log on to SuperCupStockCarSeries.com for more racing action as we head into the 2022 season. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the racing action. For Pit Road TV, I'm Gene Crane, and we'll see you next time. This Mav TV presentation of the Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. Trick Shot, it does the trick.